Thank you. Our next witness is uh, Larry Morrissey, the mayor of the city of Rockford, Illinois, uh, recently reelected to his third term as mayor. Uh, he's accompanied by Mike Dunn, executive director of the Chicago Rockford International Airport, uh, is traveling with the mayor. Uh, I'm aware, and people will come to be aware, of the fact that Northern Illinois and the Rockford area is really the home of many uh, outstanding aerospace contractors and defense contractors. And I welcome your testimony, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Chairman Durbin. It's an honor to be here today. Chairman Durbin, Chairwoman Mikulski, Ranking Member Cochran, members of the subcommittee, thank you for this opportunity to appear before you and for holding this important hearing on the impact of the sequestration on the defense industrial base and on communities like Rockford all over the country. I'm mayor of the city of Rockford, as the chairman indicated. We're located about 80 miles northwest of Chicago. We're actually the third largest city in the state of Illinois. And we have, uh, very important for this discussion, the sixth highest concentration of aerospace employment in the nation. It may come as a surprise, but there isn't an airplane flying in the skies today, manufactured today, that doesn't connect somehow to the materials, the components, the design, or engineering work that happens in Rockford. And the message I bring to you today from Rockford is the importance of coming together as a nation to avert additional unintended consequences of the federal sequestration and to put us as a nation and as a city on a path for success, a more certain and sustainable future. In cities like Rockford, we're prepared to manage cuts. In fact, we recognize the need to prioritize our investments and improve program effectiveness. In fact, that's what local governments have had to do for years. But now is not the time for continued unpredictable and non-strategic cuts to our nation's investments. Like many cities, Rockford has struggled to weather an ongoing and deep recession. Our unemployment rate as of August was 10.7%. That's down from 15.7% in July 2009, but a long way from the 6% unemployment rate we had before the collapse. Despite our challenges, I'm proud to say that we are doing our absolute best to respond to the current crisis and to move beyond crisis management to build sustainable pathways for prosperity. That's why I'm here today. One of our key pathways for prosperity in the Rockford area involves continued support for our aerospace manufacturing industry. It's a powerful economic driver for our community and our nation but it's an industry, an entire industry, threatened by the sequestration. For context, there are approximately 32,000 individuals working in the manufacturing sector in the two-county Rockford MSA. The bi-state Rockford region is, in fact, home to seven typically smaller original equipment, aerospace manufacturers, or OEMs, 11 major Tier 1 and Tier 2 suppliers, as well as over 200 third-tier aerospace suppliers and service providers. Currently, there are five major tier one suppliers residing in Rockford. BE Aerospace, Easterline, GE, Avi GE Aviation, United Technologies Aerospace, and Woodward. These companies develop new products for OEMs and the primes like Boeing and Northrop uh, Grumman. And along with other manufacturers in the region, they employ over 4,000 engineers. That's 50% more than the Illinois average. This concentration makes a huge impact when we recruit business. It's, in fact, half of Woodward suppliers are in the local area because proximity matters when it comes to this industry. As mayor, it's my job to encourage businesses to see this impact and advantage of being part of our cluster and to partner with local high schools and colleges to ensure we're training the next generation of talent and bringing more, even more good jobs to our area. But as you can imagine, Rockford has already seen the impact of the sequestration on our community and on this local aerospace supply chain. Many of our companies relying on defense for a huge portion of their sales. And in my view, sustainable and predictable growth for the Rockford region depends on our government, our federal government's ability to maintain its commitments to national defense and homeland security. We see the direct impact on the sequestration on our domestic side as well. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have already been lost to our city's Head Start program, programs like CSBG and CDBG may seem odd, but in fact, the most visible impact to our local community on defense sequestration was the cancellation this year of the Rockford Air Show due to the inability of our armed forces to participate in the event. I know Chairman Durbin knows this event well. In 2012, we had over 130,000 visitors. It not only allows us to showcase our national leadership in the aerospace industry, 
This cancellation cost us financially, but even more importantly, it cost us a blow to our confidence. At a time when we need support from the federal government, this action sent a message that our future is uncertain. I'll have more time to answer any questions that you might have, but let me close by saying this. I would ask that Congress exercise its authority to compromise and to make cuts where needed to do the most good and the least damage, prioritizing your budget around our national priorities. And from my perspective, that priority means defense comes first. Thank you.